Our culinary tour of the islands has taken us from the bustling to the tranquil and tried everything from surf to turf. For today's island hop, we come one hour down the road from Glasgow. For this trip, the journey is as amazing as the destination. Described as one of the most picturesque drives in Scotland, this is the long but beautiful way round. And it takes not one, but two ferries, one of which, at just under five minutes, is the shortest crossing I've ever taken. That's probably about 300 yards. But it's worth it, as it brings you to the island of Butte. It's going to be great fun. Butte is in the Firth of Clyde and is home to 7,000 people and some stunning scenery. This puts the Butte in beautiful. My challenge is to cook for local people with the local ingredients at this festival and I'm really looking forward to it. Before I can get cooking, I need to find out what makes waves when it comes to food here in Butte. If I said to you sleeping warrior, what would you think? Insect? Battleship? Yoga position? Come with me, all will be revealed. The sleeping warrior is in fact a sausage. An award-winning one at that, made by Janet and Brian Hill at their farm at the tip of the island. Oh, that's delicious. Yeah. I don't think I've ever tasted a sausage like that. Let me just try well, it. you wouldn't have done really, because it's a recipe that I tweaked. That you made up. <laughs> made up. You thought, I'm going to try a bit of this, and we'll try that's a bit of that. Fantastic. You know? This tasty morsel, named after the mountain range opposite the farm, is twice smoked in Brian's homemade kiln. Yeah, the whole process takes quite a few days. There's a secret recipe and cure that goes into sausage, yeah. and then it hangs to, to dry a wee bit in the chill first. It's a trio, it's a, it's a mixture of beef, pork, and lamb. Lovely. Wait a minute, Molly. Brian and Janet moved to this incredible 1,500 acre site from Somerset with their two sons 15 years ago. I've got to ask you the question. When you came here, you're children were very young. Yeah. Was there a point when you thought, what have we done? Why have we come here? When it's snowing or raining, there's never a point absolutely where... Absolutely not. I think with two little boys, they were four and six, and um, they've absolutely loved it. They've been sleeping out under the stars when they were little and had total freedom and... I think it was six months before we got the telly connected when we first came here. Nobody missed it. Nobody missed it. What a lovely place and what lovely people. That's really fired me up. I can't wait to start cooking. I think Janet and Brian's sausage will work wonderfully well in what I'm planning to cook. But I need to find a few more ingredients before I can face the festival folk. And Islander Ian McKellar is the person to help me do that. What a place. It's great, isn't it? Isn't it? Right. Fantastic. Welcome to Camp Seaweed. What do you actually do here? We harvest edible seaweeds. Do you? Well, right from here? Right from here, from this shore. Far as the eye can see, this is our larder. And you go in every day? If we've got the orders, I go in every day. Are yeah. you going with just like wellies on? Waders. Waders in this time of year, but in the spring, I'll go out in a wetsuit. And dive? Aye, and dive for the, the really? deeper species. After being made redundant from his job as a lorry driver on the mainland, Ian returned to his native home of Butte and wanted to get back to nature working on the land. I chose seaweed because it was on my front doorstep, so. <laughs> Took it from there. That's bladder rack, this one here. That's uh, bladder uh, rack can you, you can eat this one? Oh yeah, all British seaweeds are edible. Oh, they? They're all edible. Here we've got a bit of kelp that's washed up. It's, it's not the freshest of stuff, but it's, that's called sugar kelp. And I think one of these seaweeds will be perfect in the stir fry I'm planning to cook at the festival. And I think what I'll do is chop it up, blanch it, and stir fry it with a bit of ginger, a bit of um, Janet Bryan's Sleeping Warrior sausage, which I think is perfect, and a little bit of soy sauce. Sounds good. What do you reckon? Aye. Delicious. And it turns out that seaweed oh, oh. is not just good for eating. Yeah. That's for baths. Therapeutic baths. A bath? A bath in seaweed, aye. We just chuck it in the hot water? Put it in the hot water. As soon as it gets hot, it yeah. releases a gel. I'm not too sure about that in the bath, actually. Now, honestly, who would try something like that? <laughs> Mm. 
Next day, I'm feeling somewhat refreshed. I'm festival bound. But the weather has other ideas. One reason why Scotland is so beautiful, green and lush is because of this, rain. Now, it doesn't stop the locals and it's definitely not going to stop me. And the weather certainly hasn't put these locals off. The Eat Butte Festival is held in the grounds of the stunning Mount Stuart House and features food producers from all over this part of Scotland and a touch of rain. And I have spotted something that might just warm me up, some chilli jam. You just eat that one? I haven't swallowed it yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is the... That's the wild. 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 I'm okay. Have I really? Yeah. That's because I'm standing beside you. <laughs> <laughs> so what are you selling, girls? We're selling bird feed and jam and loads of different things to the garden. Now I've got two pounds. What do you think I should buy? Buy a future maths teacher in the making, no doubt. As the rain worsens. I'm off inside to cook up my seaweed to a captive audience taking refuge from the weather. I'm going to stir fry some ginger and onions before adding the seaweed that I've made sure I've washed and boiled in water for around 30 minutes. Now what you mustn't do, I've been told, is overcook it, otherwise it'll end up like bubblegum. Next I'm adding Janet and Bill's sausage, some soy sauce, chilli, some prawns and finally some coriander. This should absolutely perfect. Now all that remains to be seen is if the Butte residents agree. Just lovely. Lovely? Mm. My father once said to me, you should learn something new every day. And that seagrass I think are absolutely fantastic. So it's been well worth it just for that. Anyway, th thanks a lot. Cheers. It's great to see people embracing new foods and trying something different. And by the look of the empty plates, I think my seaweed stir-fry has been a success. The Arndu of Butte has a wealth of innovative food creation. I've only touched the surface in my short visit. I'd love to stay, but my time here is done. This island, which is a stone's throw from Glasgow, is a real jewel. One day I will return. But for now, what a fabulous view.